is up guys, this is Max Square, and on this week's edition of Free Template Friday, I'm giving away a Photoshop template for managing your social media artwork. Now we're gonna jump into that in just a minute, but if you're new here, I make videos all about how to increase your productivity on your Mac, iPad, and iPhone. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this template. So once you click the link in the description, you'll see that you get a zip file. And if we open that up, we'll have two separate files. We have the main Photoshop template, but we also have this .atn file, and that's a Photoshop action. So let's go ahead and open up the PSD template. And you can take a quick glance at the template, but before we move any further, I wanna make sure that we install this Photoshop action. So just jump back into that folder and double click that ATN file, and then the action will be added. Now I've separated this template into three main sections. The first is our smart objects at the top, and that's really the only place that you need to update in the entire template. The rest will just update automatically. Now below that, I've designed a template for desktop, tablet, and mobile for those three social networks, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. I haven't really supported any other social media network because I feel like you could really use one of these three for any social network out there, and some of them don't even have banners like Instagram, or anything like that, but you should be good with these three different templates. And then on the left, there's a full res demo of all of the banners. You don't actually have to touch this at all. It is really just so that when you're exporting, it has a full resolution to reference. So I've tried to make this really easy to customize so that it saves you a ton of time. All you really have to do is go up to the top of our artboards here on the right, and you'll see that we have a brand info artboard, banner, and then an avatar square. Now the avatar round is just the same avatar with a round circle crop, and that's actually gonna update by itself, so you really only need to edit the artboards with the blue layer on here. So first, let's go ahead and change out this avatar. We can just double click into that layer. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And we can go ahead and delete this and I'm just gonna grab a random profile picture here. One thing you wanna make sure is that your photo is actually below the circle crop guide layer. Now if we switch this on, you can see what it's gonna look like when it is cropped into a circle. Some social networks just kind of force that circle crop and so sometimes you don't know what it's gonna look like until you upload. So that's kind of just saving a step there but definitely make sure that you disable that before you save this layer, otherwise it's gonna be a big red blob across all of your avatar previews. Next, let's go ahead and replace the banner. So again, just double click into that layer, and I'm just gonna grab a random photo here and drag that in. And same thing, you do wanna make sure that your photo is at the bottom of all the layers. You'll see we have this guides folder, and this is so that you can see what it's gonna look like and what is gonna be cropped off once you upload it. So if we enable Facebook, you can see the text and logo safe area with our profile picture. We also have one for Twitter. And then I've also made one for YouTube. YouTube is probably the most complex because there's one for tablet, desktop, and TV, so you sometimes don't know what it's gonna look like. So I've added in these guides with the tablet, desktop, and TV description so you can see what's gonna be cropped out. We can go ahead and save that. And then lastly, let's go ahead and update our brand name. I'm just gonna change this to Max Square. Hit OK and hit save. And then if we jump back to our main template, we can start to see that everything has been updated across all of our previews. So if we just zoom in here to the YouTube preview for the desktop, you'll see we have our banner and our avatar has been updated. And then we also have our tablet and our mobile. And you can also see it's updated for Twitter and Facebook. Now the real reason I've designed these mockups is to save you the time of uploading these graphics to whatever social network it is, maybe seeing that there's a mistake and then having to go through the whole process again of exporting out of Photoshop, uploading, waiting to process. So really any change you make, you can immediately see what it's gonna look like across all those three devices for those different social networks. I've also included some of the smaller previews like you would see when you're posting a tweet or some smaller post where the avatar is pretty small. And one reason for this is that there's usually a lot of white space around these smaller avatars. So you can see what your logo looks like in that white space. But also when you scale down the avatar, you're losing a lot of detail, obviously. So you wanna make sure that something that you really want people to see in your picture isn't being lost at those smaller resolutions. And that's pretty much it for this template. You have your smart objects, you can update, and then everything will just dynamically link and upload by itself across all of those desktop, tablet, and mobile previews.
Now I've also tried to make exporting all of these artboards out really simple and that's why I've developed that Photoshop action. So you can just hit that play button in your toolbar and if you don't see that, just go up to window and select actions and then you'll see that we have this FT8 social artwork folder. Now this isn't actually the Photoshop action, you have to click on run me, but then once you do that, just hit play, and then you can choose where you wanna save it. So I'll just save this out to my desktop, hit open, and then this is also where you're gonna specify the file type. So if you want it to be PNG or JPEG, just specify that there and then just hit run, and then it'll grab those full resolution avatars as well as those banners and export them all out for you. So if we take a look at our desktop, you'll see all those files are good to go. The avatar has the round and square format, and then we have our three banners. Now you see the naming system goes FTF8, social artwork, and then whatever social network, and then banner or avatar. And if you wanna change that, one little hack is to actually go to the PSD template hit enter and then type in whatever you want here. So maybe you want it to say Mac square artwork and just save that. And then when you export, it'll say Mac square artwork underscore YouTube banner, whatever you want it to say. But by default, that is the name. Feel free to change it to whatever you would like. So that's all you really need to know for this free template Friday. I actually just updated all of my own artwork across my social platforms. You may have noticed, you may not have but I found this to be really useful to just export them all in one go using this template, and I hope it can do the same for you guys. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. What is up, guys? This is Max Square, and on them. <laughs> But if you're new here, I make videos all about how to increase your productivity on your Mac, iPad, and iPad, and iPad, and iPad. 